terrorist organizations that are committed to the complete okay, and total we'll, destruction we'll, actually, of the rightful nation state of Israel. That's completely untrue. Hamas, it's Hamas, we were there. Hamas has repeatedly expressed acceptance of the two-state solution on the Jews. Yeah. Okay, well, the terrorism that Hamas and Hezbollah are responsible for. Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, we're going to be reacting to Charlie Kick School students who support Hamas. Whoa, guys, I have a lot to say in the end of this video, guys. Let's get straight into this. But it seems, do you agree Iran's an evil? I think that Saudi, I think, well, my prior, Oh, the little hesitancy? My, is Iran and Saudi Arabia both enemies of the West? Uh, no, I don't, I don't believe wow. that at all. So Iran funding so, Hamas and Hezbollah is what? Would you say that? Good? I think that um, Iran is I the number the, one terrorist funding. I think in the, world. the Palestinian people and the Lebanese people have the right to defend themselves from Israel. Hamas is not defending themselves. Yes, they're they a are. terrorist organization targeting they were, they were Jews, they launching Demo rockets into this nation state of Israel every single day. Sorry. Guys. Hamas is not Palis Palestinian. Hamas and Hezbollah are terrorist organizations that are committed to the complete okay, and total we'll, destruction we'll, actually, of the rightful nation state of Israel. That's completely untrue. Hamas. It's Hamas. There. Hamas has repeatedly expressed acceptance of the two-state solution on the G. Okay, well, the terrorism that Hamas and Hezbollah are responsible, responsible for pales in comparison with the terrorism that Israel and the United States carry out on a regular basis. So, can I ask a question? And furthermore, you say you're, you're, say you're against wealth redistribution. So what do you think about billions of dollars of American taxpayers' money going to Israel You mean they, they buy U.S. weapons, there's not direct aid. Let me ask you a question. What happens to the families of terrorists in Palestine? Let's say there's a suicide bomber in the streets of Jerusalem. Did you know that there's a pay for slay policy where Palestinian families get a check every single yeah, month that's, that's if they what, kill Jews? Did you know that? That's there's a Palestinian Hamas. authority. That's the Palestinian authority. Which Hamas which is, is governed under because no, Israel, not. in Hamas, the pursuit of peace, Hamas retreated from Hamas. What, what, did Hamas Israel give up Hamas Gaza yesterday? Strip. The Palestinian authority governs the West. Bank. What happened to the Gaza Strip? Did Israel used to occupy it, true or false? Israel continues to occupy Gaza. Ha it's controlled According, by the terrorist state no, of Hamas. Israel, Israel, it used Israel, to be functioning Israel, factories. It used to be rolling hills and vineyards. And the Hamas, the terrorists, took it over. That's completely untrue. And as built terror as tunnels as and as launched Hamas, rockets. Hamas, Hamas. As soon as, as soon as Hamas was democratically elected, Israel immediately imposed a crippling you think blockade. The PA is democratically Hamas, Israel, elected. No, Hamas is an international prescribed terror organization. Hamas is an international prescribed terror organization. Sorry. Hamas is an internationally prescribed terror no, organization. No, it's, it's not actually. It's, yes, prescribed, it is. it's prescribed by a handful of Western countries, which support Including Israel. the one that you're in. <laughs> yeah, I agree, but I, I don't uncritically Intelligence agencies which are designed to serve the people of this country in America have prescribed Hamas. That should raise some serious, serious questions in your head as to whether or not you should be supporting well, I don't, them. I don't place limited faith in the intelligence services who said Iraq had weapons of mass destruction. Okay, well, that's a completely separate topic of conversation. Well, no, that was UN's weapons you're inspectors who said you're defending Iraq the intelligence services. That were UN services. weapons inspectors was Iraq who said they they had mass weapons of mass the destruction. The UN weapons inspectors, no, yes. they didn't. Yes, they, they did. The UN At weapons the inspectors said Iraq did not have WMD. John, John so you're supporting who was the, the head of the UN's now. weapons inspectors. So you say you're in favor of limited government, but you support the invasion of Iraq. No, that, that's we're not, not even talking about that. We're talking about Hamas. Okay, you have just voiced support for Hamas and Hezbollah. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. I, no, I you haven't. Have. You I actually did. I, I said, I said, I are they a terrorist organization, yes or no? Yeah, they've carried out acts of Let's terror, just but watch as I some said, videos of the, Iron the, the acts of terror that they've rockets. carried out pale in comparison with the acts of terror that Israel and the United States Can you tell me why the PA out. fund gives money to the terrorist I families? I don't support the PA. I've who never do defended... you support, Iran or...? I, no, I, I support this. human beings who are struggling for their right then to live in Then you should hate Iran because Iran murders human beings that are gay and they throw them off the top of buildings. You should hate Iran. Yeah, I, I don't support the Iranian government, but neither do I support Saudi Arabia, which is supported by the West. So we, and, we, and we actually don't support Saudi that much either here, so... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and I also don't support a war against Iran, which you guys seem to... Well, we do support sanctions and not sending them okay, billions of dollars. So which, when, when which, Iran is not, says, which is not limited government, by the way. So can I have sanctions against Iran? Hang on a second, hang on a second, hang on a second. Who, 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 so, so in, 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 in the... In the when, when the... When the the president of Iran comes out and says, I want to wipe Israel off the he map. He doesn't actually say that. Uh, I, the yeah, Ayatollah no, sorry, Khamenei said, said that. If you, if you Ahmadinejad look, if, actually no, said no, that. Sorry, if you look at his statement. Burn the American flag, it's regularly seen on TV. There's a difference between rhetoric and action. There's all sorts of inflammatory rhetoric, including from the So we just don't trust the words of the president of Iran. I just say two quick things. First of all, Ayatollah Khamenei, the head of Iranian's theocratic construction essentially part of government and the former president Akademi Jad 
said, death to Israel, death to the West, death to America, multiple times. Yeah. How do they act on it? Because you said it's just words. They give billions to Hamas. They give billions to Hezbollah. They support the bombing of Israeli children. They give money to PA that funds and incentivizes terrorist behavior. They refuse to condemn Hamas and Hezbollah any time under UN resolutions, ever. They refuse to ever vote and say this is wrong. They, refuse, they actually fund BDS resolutions all across the world. They're outwardly anti-Semitic, not to mention outwardly anti-gay, anti-Christian, anti-Western. And finally, why does Iran want nuclear weapons so bad? Why? Because they want to act on their words to destroy Israel, destroy the West, destroy America. Iran is the fundamentally biggest and most sinister evil of everybody in this room. And if you have sympathy for it, I wonder why. Okay, so the... I Guys, to be honest, I hate it when people say I support Hamas or they kind of hide on the evil that they did. And I would say it, fact, if Hamas didn't do what they do, I don't think Israel would have retaliated like that. I feel this is this is something that most Muslims don't talk about. Like I watched a podcast when a man said I, I don't support Hamas. But like he switched and turned back to Israel did this, Israel did that. But like, let's be honest, like, let's be logical here, like, Hamas started this war, like, I know it's not Palestinians, I understand the sympathy, like, I have sympathy for Palestinians, but I feel they are messed with something, they are messed up with something that is not really right for them. I, I feel if people had challenged their anger and their, yes, I would call it their anger against Israel, if they challenged that same anger to Hamas, like, I feel it will be resolved because I feel everybody's just saying Israel this, Israel that, but like they're forgetting who caused it. It's more like someone created a reaction and when the action comes, everybody forgets who created the reaction and focus on the result. Like it's, it's annoying to be honest because first of all, something happened. Why did it happen? Because Hamas did this. And what happened after Hamas did this? Israel had to retaliate. And what happened when Israel retaliated? It caused a lot of distortion in Palestine. And it's, it's heartbreaking. Like, I feel it shouldn't have happened. To be honest, it's heartbreaking. So I, I watched an interview where a man lost his family. His niece was a doctor. I felt like crying. I don't know. I have so much respect for doctors. But I feel you go through some, you go through hard work. To finish school, become a doctor, and you die without reaping the fruit of your labor. I felt like crying. I understand the pain of Palestinians, but I feel, I don't feel, I know that you're supposed to focus on Hamas. Like, if, because for it to have, if Hamas do the same thing they did, I feel Israel will retaliate the same way they did. Because you, you can't kill my people and expect me not to retaliate. Like, I, I really, I'm not saying an eye for an eye, but like, if someone has to, like, a country has to show that he or she has strength, like, and it's heartbreaking because the world does not make sense, because, like, it does not make sense, it's not supposed to happen. But when you see a terrorist group killing your people, like, you just have to retaliate. And I feel, oh, they're retaliating towards the wrong people, but like, that is where Hamas are, so you don't expect them to. Like, that's where the bomb came from, like, came from Palestine. So you don't expect it easier to just sit down and say, like, I, I really don't know who who want to fight Israel, guys. That country is super strong. But guys, think what you think about this. Like, to be honest, I want to hear your comments and your thoughts in the comment section. I just want to like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.